this is officially the opening of Chance Pride Weekends. <laughs> It was just being surrounded by so many people from the community, you know, really diverse range of people as well, you know, across the whole gender spectrum. And just having that time that we can all come together that was really positive and it had that kind of political element that, you know, there's so much that still needs to change and we've got a long way to go. But at the same time, kind of celebrating how far we've come and, you know, how strong we are as a community. And it was just amazing. Just the overall feeling, I think, was, was what I enjoyed the most. And just the spirit of everyone getting involved and just seeing such an amazing turnout. But I think the whole point of it is that it's not something that's necessarily going to be you don't want it to just be trans people because then that's not embracing them in the wider community. So I felt it was really nice to be included and I felt just as much a part of the day as, as anyone else did. And I think it's it was great to see people's families with them and people's partners, people bringing people along. And I think it was nice that people felt able to come into the park. We had a couple of people approach the store who didn't even know what transgender meant. So it was lovely that they just came in and felt comfortable to ask and we just had a chat with them and tried to be as informative as possible and just sort of you know invited them to have a look around and speak to people in the stalls and, and see what it was all about and they seemed to really enjoy it. So I think everyone, it was a really welcoming atmosphere and I think it's important as well um, because some trans people can be quite isolated it also means that the partners or the families of trans people sometimes miss that support and they sometimes don't know the best way forward because if they've not met other trans people or, or partners of trans people then it can be really good to get together in that sense. Due to a little uh, scheduling change um, I ended up opening <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> which is kind of terrifying in a way, but also amazing. It was just really fun and like such an amazing like collective pride pool spirit. I guess it's the smallest pride I've been to, but in a way it felt like it had almost the, the biggest spirit just because I think it meant so much to everyone who was there. Yeah, <laughs> it was just a really lovely day. But it's just the warmth and friendliness of it all. It was just so welcoming as soon as you walked up towards the gate and it was just somewhere that you didn't want to go away from. It was just lovely. And even when it rained, it was all to do with sharing and people getting together to keep dry. I would expect it to be much the same, perhaps a bit bigger. And um, you know, I wouldn't even think of it being that much different. I just think it went so well anyway, that's the way it was. <laughs> How did it feel seeing your film on a Friday night on the big screen? That was really, really, it was really nice actually. I thought you actually represented me, for what it's worth, as I feel inside. And that was really important and it was actually quite moving for me as well. And the whole thing, yeah, people, was, people were, um, were so warm and friendly about it and supporting that that was lovely and they obviously got it my favorite thing about trans pride was bethany black easy no contest tell us why because she's hilarious and filthy and i, I don't know you know you've got to love someone that, that makes you laugh and that connects with the issues that affect you you know that was important so I live in a little bit of a, a bubble. I don't really have the internet at home and I don't watch TV or anything like that. So I miss out on a lot of these, this, these things until I go to an event and, and come across someone and then develop a minor obsession with them for the next six months or so. My favorite part was just after it started pouring with rain. Although it was, that was pretty fun too because everyone kind of went away and took shelter, but then suddenly it was just bright and sunny again and everyone came flooding back and I just thought people would just kind of pack up. It just was awesome to have such a huge safe space and that was so public, so visible and so accessible um, in all sort of senses of the word. The general sense of community and the sort of buzz that was around the park, everyone seemed so just 
United. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. The atmosphere was incredible. I didn't think I felt anything like it. Um, just it just felt so safe and comfortable and and yeah, everyone behaved and it was wonderful. I mean, the weather didn't, but <laughs> kind of it all. Um, I, I kept having like just moments of like just kind of didn't believe it was happening. To have that much interest, we did not anticipate that. It was like triple what we thought. You thought 350. Yeah, it's like tops. <laughs> um, and then the last figure, 1,100 uh, people. The last thing is 1,531 people. Oh my god! Just came together so well. It was months later. I mean, yeah, I know. so <laughs> so fast and just well done to you, everyone that was involved. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing job. And that's it. Everyone was involved. Everyone made it happen. Yeah. Well, people keep saying that it should be bigger and better, but I don't want it to become a pastiche of what pride is. One of the good things that people said yesterday was this is how Pride was when it started. How it should be about campaigning for rights that we don't yet have. And I don't want to lose that intimacy that's part of what we put on. Because that is, that to me was the most important part of trans Pride. It's for the community, by the community. With help from our friends and allies.